The very first exercise is called the bow. The way you perform this exercise is going to determine how the rest of your routine as well as the rest of your day or your workout is going to look. So pay a lot of attention to how you do this. The very first thing that you want to do is set your feet about shoulder width apart, bend your knees slightly. Then you're going to take both of your fists, put them back behind you and sort of jab them into your lower back or the upper part of your hips. You're going to pinch your elbows together, lean back, open your mouth as wide as you can and breathe. You're going to breathe deep down into your pelvic floor as deep as you can. At first you might find that there's a lot of tension in your neck, in your shoulders, in your chest and in your back and you might feel a little bit of pain but this is normal. I invite you to try to relax those muscles, try to open up the front of your body by bowing it back and continue to breathe deep through the wide open mouth. The more free your body becomes, the deeper you'll be able to breathe. Also, you're probably going to vibrate a lot while you're doing this exercise, especially in the beginning. You might feel your body shaking, almost like it wants to fall apart. This is normal and natural and it's actually what's happening is your body is bringing up energy and all that vibration is is a manifestation of the energy rising in your body. The second exercise I call the ground reach. Essentially you just reverse the bow by flexing over and reaching for the ground. What you want to be able to do during this exercise is to maintain that deep breathing through the mouth while you're down in the flex position. You want to slump your body over, let your arms and head completely hang like a rag doll. As you inhale you may feel your upper body rise somewhat and then collapse towards the ground as you exhale. Continue to try to breathe deep into your pelvic basin as you perform this exercise. You'll feel a large stretch throughout the back of your legs, maybe in your neck and in your low back. This is normal and you may also vibrate like I described with the first exercise. The third exercise is what I call shake and vibrate. This is really where you shake out all the tension in your neck, shoulders, legs, hips, stomach and arms. Take your time, you want to perform this for about a full minute, just like the other two exercises. While you're doing this exercise, completely let go. You've got to let go of all psychological and physical constraints. Just let your body shake and vibrate like you see me doing here. Try not to get trapped in patterns of shaking and vibrating. Move into different patterns and do different things just to break up the patterns that would be natural and normal or feel natural and normal to you and open your body up and your mind up to new things.
The fourth exercise is called the trust reach. Because essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your body in a position where naturally it would wanna fall and you may be fearful or scared of that particular uh, action. So what you're doing is you're just standing on one leg, taking two hands and reaching out in front of you. You wanna hold it out there for about two seconds as you balance on that back leg. Come back up into the starting position and then repeat that about five times on one leg followed by five times on the other leg. The fifth exercise is a deep knee bend or squat. Now this and the previous one are orienting exercises. The purpose of this here, like I mentioned in the beginning, is to orient the body for primal movement and balance. So as you sink down there, think about squatting as deep as you possibly can. A lot of people don't know this, but mankind was designed to defecate in this position. So that means that you are going to be releasing a lot of the, the muscles in your pelvic basin, your floor, and your anus. And this is normal and natural. Try to stretch the ankles, knees, and hips while you're down there as well. Continue to breathe deep while you're doing this and all the orienting exercises as well. The next orienting exercise is the rollback reach. This is preparing your body again to be oriented to the idea of exercise or moving throughout your day. All you're gonna do is lean forward as you push through your open legs and then roll back as you bring your legs together and try to push it over your head. In the beginning, this may be very difficult for a lot of people who have tons of tension in their low back and neck. Take your time with it and work up slowly to where you can eventually reach and touch the ground as well as reach your legs up over your head. With this and all exercises, take your time. If you can't do it the way you see me doing it right away, that's okay. The next orienting exercise is the scorpion. All you're gonna do is lay down on your stomach with your arms out to the sides and reach the opposite leg to opposite uh, hand. 
Again, this is preparing your body for the twist pattern. The final orienting exercise is the 90-90 reach. I like to do it one, I like to set my legs in the 90-90 you know, position, basically 90 degrees in front, 90 degrees in back. The first part is where you lean forward over the leg that's in front of you. Hold that for about 30 seconds and then do the second part where you lean back towards the leg behind you. You'll find that this really opens up your hips both on the outside and on the inside. So your hip flexors as well as your glutes will get a really good stretch. And finally, the last exercise is our grounding and focus exercise. We call it the warrior bounce or ground pound. And this, just like you see a lot of our, if you watch National Geographic or the History Channel, you'll see Native Americans or even uh, some of the Roman soldiers doing a lot of ground pounding while making noise. In preparation for war or battle or sport. And that's exactly what we're doing here. You wanna bounce and let your feet hit the ground such that it vibrates up throughout your entire body. You wanna let your feet land flat. Don't bounce on your toes. Each time you hit the ground, you wanna make a loud hoo, hoo, hoo sound that's gonna resonate deep from within your, your sex center, basically your pelvic floor, up throughout your entire body. You want to feel that vibration from the ground and from the whoo sound throughout your entire body. Now, after performing this warm-up, you are gonna be energized, oriented, and focused to go ahead and attack your day like a beast or attack your workout 
in the same fashion. I know this will help you. I think it's something great. Share your experiences with me at the blog post down below. Any questions or concerns, I'd love to support you. Talk to you next time.